Hey everyone, this is a replay sent to me by Vader Sama of a game he played in the Yudachi. It is a six ship division. This is the tier seven premium Japanese destroyer. This is an interesting pick if you wanted to do it for an Arai. As if you've been here or been playing long enough, you would remember that the Shiratsuyu used to have both smoke and torpedo reload booster, and they t put those in the same slot so Shiratsuyu no longer has it, and they brought out the Yudachi has both in separate slots. Now if you look at where he's aimed his torpedoes after using the reload booster, he has aimed them at the Iron Duke spawn and the Emerald spawn. And that's one of the things that makes the Udachi such an interesting pick for an Arai. In addition, you can really change the progress of the battle, which you will see later. Now in terms of, say, trying to carry in a team of random pickups, you don't exactly have the guns of, say, a gunboat. Leningrad, but the way you play this can really change how the battle progresses. And now you'll see why he fired at the Emerald. Granted, it's not guaranteed. But if you time it right, it's definitely an interesting happenstance. Speed this up a little bit. So after this third wave gets sunk, the cruiser's gone, this is a really interesting play you can make with the Udachi. Obviously you're going for the Missouri to torp it, but you can see what Vader proceeds to do while he does that. Now, look where he fired his torps. He didn't fire them at the Missouri. He fired them over toward the north side of the bay, where the Lexington exits. And then he used his reload booster to send torps at the Missouri. Now, I'm not going to spoil the surprise of why he does this, as you will soon figure out purpose. If 
you haven't guessed by now, the torps are 15 km, so they can extend all the way to the map border. And if you time it correctly, you're going to have a big effect on the Lexington. there, he hit two torpedoes, but what did he hit? He hit the Lexington. And because of where his torpedoes were, he forced the Lexington to turn and stay inside the bay, as well as the Phoenix. And if you have an unreliable person out north of the island in the D-line, what you can do is, in the Udachi, force the Lexington to stay inside, and it helps prevent a star being lost from that. Now, as for the route, Vader likes to go this way, since he's not concerned with the Lexington as it's staying inside, he just needs to watch out for the Campbelltown in Dallas, which is why he's slowing down and stopping here. And the reason he likes to go down this way is he ha likes to use this as a shortcut to get to the J8 square to have good broadside hits on the spawning ships in the southeast corner. Now, you can see he's kind of spamming torps. Those are just for seeing if he can hit something with the ship spawning and going through the area. Speed up a little bit. And his strat, he likes to be here early by the time the second wave arrives. He can be smoked and ready to deal some damage. Don't forget, the second wave in the southeast corner, whenever one ship dies, the third wave spawns. So anytime the Indianapolis, Gallant, or Queen Elizabeth dies, you need to be ready for the shores, Atlanta, and Colorado spawning. That's another reason why he likes to go this way and be here ready to attack the third wave.
So while the Udachi, it may not be one to use to say carry necessarily, but it's definitely an interesting choice to play in Narai should it come back. Hopefully it does come back as uh, been said. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and see you next time.